we're going to look at uh, gun disarm. There's a lot of different gun disarms out there. And I really like this next one. I'm kind of sharing you my, my prize right here. Uh, there's, there's different ways, and if you watch different videos, I'm going to have Jared come in now. And if he points the gun straight at me, oh, you're going to see a lot of people that will do this. If you watch my other video with the knife to the throat, I say, don't, make the, don't, don't lift the hands higher than the weapon. This time it happens to be a gun rather than a knife. Now, it's very common for someone to make a little movement with their hands. For you to go and try and straight attack this hand, he might have some kind of reflex where he pulls the trigger. And if you're standing in front of him, that's not going to be good. Now, there's different ones. You can redirect this way. You can redirect that way. But what, uh, um, if you have a, a training gun, which you can actually pull the trigger, but obviously there's no ammunition in it. It's just a, a training gun. Basically, when he puts his hand on the trigger, which he would, as soon as I move, I want him to pull that trigger. And you're going to be able to hear it click or whatever. And that's how you can kind of test yourself. Um, some of you think that, you know, you, 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 there's a possibility that you're going to get shot. There is a possibility that you're going to get shot. But if I can move first, there's an okay chance that I, I might actually dodge. I may be deaf in one ear for a little while. You know, it just depends. But at least I didn't get shot. So the one that I, I like to do is, if he, if he brings the gun up like this, it's okay to, to, to make this small motion, hey, 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 hey. When you do that, hey, 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 unlike the knife where you're just going to go straight to it because it's a gun and he might have that reflex to pull the trigger, it's okay to bring your hands up on this one. Just don't, you don't need to bring it higher than the gun. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to whip it this way and it's going to, push the gun away from me so that it will shoot you know, somewhere off in the distance. Now, you know, there's a chance maybe it could hit somebody else. Hopefully not, but you're, you're going to try to protect yourself. So we're not going to really go into that. So all I'm going to do is... It's going to be this motion, this chopping motion. And you're going to imagine your hand going in a circle this way. The hand that strikes, you're going to strike right at his wrist. So right when he pulls that gun, you're going to say, hey, 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 don't hurt me. And as soon as he does that, you're just going to hammer it away that way. And you're going to step back, you're going to do whatever you got to do, okay? It's very fast. Um, if he does it with two hands, it doesn't matter. He can be in this left stance, right stance. One elbow is bent, the other one's straight, both are straight, it doesn't matter. I'm going to do the same cutting motion, and it's twisting this one way, and my the other force is going the other way. So, right there, okay?